For the past few years, I've noticed that a bunch of the file types in Creo Parametric have been missing. Here I am in Creo Parametric 8.0. Let's say I go to the File New button. Here we have the new dialog box, and we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, eight different major file types listed in here. And if I go to the assembly option, we can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one grayed out nine, nine different options for the subtypes for assembly. And I was like, hey, whatever happened to some of the old different ones, like the old report or markup or diagram? Well, I decided to go back and figure out when was the last version that had all those different options. So let me cancel out of here and go into the Wayback Machine. Here I am in Creo Parametric 3.0. You can see that the interface looks a lot different. It doesn't have the wrapper that got added in Creo Parametric 6.0, so it's just a little bit different. If I go to the new icon here in Creo Parametric 3.0, Let's take a look at our different file types. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different types. We have three types that we didn't have in Creo 8. We had the report type, the diagram type, and the markup type. The report type, that's if you wanted to use Pro Report, like to generate a bill of materials, but not use a drawing. The diagram type was for using schematics without using Creo schematics. And the markup type is a way that you could sort of use an overlay on top of a drawing to make different notes of changes that you want someone to make. And Creo View kind of made that irrelevant. If I go to the assembly type, well, we have a whole bunch of different types here. Let me jump to the chase. There's this other type, verify here. And that's for use if you have, say, a coordinate measuring machine and you get a point cloud of a real world product and then you want to compare it to the CAD model. That's what a verify assembly is used for. So let's say I wanted to get these different file types back in Creo 4.0 all the way to Creo 8.0. How do I do that? The way that you're going to do that is with a hidden config.pro option. That's why I have my config.pro file opened in notepad i've gone down to the bottom i'm going to enter in the option and you've got to enter it in exactly it is enable underscore obsolete underscore modes and we're going to use a value of yes for that let me hit the save button and then exit out of notepad now i'm going to exit out of creo parametric and restart i'll be back in a moment all right, now that I have restarted Creo 8.0, let's go to the new icon. Hey, lo and behold, I have the other different file types back. I've got my report and diagram and markup. If I go to the assembly uh, type, I can see that I have the verify subtype. So again, that hidden config.pro option, that's how you get those old obsolete modes back into your Creo parametric. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.